Obviously, you guys uh, adding Clowney over the weekend, he does so many different things across the defense. Uh, wondering who, you know, who gets to spend time with him once he's available to you guys, how that works with splitting up, uh, splitting up in the meeting rooms. Well, he's, he'll be working with the outside linebackers, so he'll be working with uh, Shane and, um, and Matt Edwards. So that's a, he'll spend most of the time uh, with those two. And uh, just a, another question for you about uh, Will Compton adding some depth for the inside linebacking room, obviously somebody you're familiar with from your time in Washington. Uh, what, where, is, where is he, I guess, right now as a player, and what did you see throughout whatever limited time he had in training camp um, that showed you that he could still perform at a high level? Well, you know, Will's a very instinctive guy. You know, I signed him out of Nebraska as a free agent back in Washington and uh, really smart, understands the game, uh, has a love for the game. Obviously, he does his little podcast. You can tell he enjoys life. Uh, it's fun to be around him, and, but he takes football serious. I've got one here for you, Coach. Uh, okay. Denver has a number of talented skill players on offense. So the challenge of not uh, having preseason, what's the challenge of game planning for those guys without any preseason tape to go off of? Well, I always think that's an issue because you're really not sure, <clears throat> you know, about some of the players they have. They just drafted. Uh, you looked at them in college tape. So you have, an under, you know, a pretty good understanding. Obviously, the first-round pick's a talented guy. Uh, not sure how they're going to use everybody. Uh, so, I mean, that, that's always the, the challenge, especially not playing the preseason games. Um, but it works two ways. So, uh, you know, I, I, I think when, you, uh, when it comes down to it, the people that, that tackle the best and uh, do all those other little things right will probably win the game. Rex Road. Hey, Jim, sorry for uh... – Another question on a guy who isn't necessarily in your room, but um, or, or, or specifically your position, but on Clowney, what, what kind of impact does a player like that bring to the rest of the defense? And even in terms of, you know, putting different guys on the field together in different packages, things like that. Well, I think it got, it, the pass rushers make a big difference in this league and probably the number one thing you're looking for on defense. And, um, you know, that's that's the impact he'll make on this team. I mean, he's another moving part that's a, a talented player, has done it over his, uh, the long haul, and um, I, I, it gives us another weapon on the defensive side. And, you know, I know the DBs and the linebackers are, are glad we have them, and we get, we get everybody on the field that we have. Um, you know, we believe that, you know, that uh, if, we, if we play the way we're supposed to, capable of, we can play at a high level. Fuck. Yeah, Coach, uh, with, with David Long, he appears to, at least when we're watching him out there on the practice field, he appears to be very active, very vocal, very communi uh, communicative with his teammates. Um, how much does that help him uh, when you're seeing him out there in live reps, or, or, or I guess not live reps, but how much, uh, how much do you appreciate that aspect of his game? Well, I think Dave has done a great job. Um, I think he's really improved since we've been here. Uh, I think he's taken his game up, uh, elevated it. He's very, very instinctive, has a good feel for the, uh, the game, good, good pass rusher, and brings a lot of skills to the table. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think anybody's afraid to put him on the field and let him play. So it's, uh, you know, the, the more players you have, the better team you'll have. And I, I think David kind of fits in that mode. With Rashawn, it seems like, or at least last year, watching you guys on defense, he seems to be able to do so many different things uh, in a way that kind of make you know, obviously versatility is something that you guys uh, impress upon uh, as, as being hugely important. But just from a perspective of an inside linebackers coach, how much does he help the rest of the defense around him just because he is able to do so many of those things that he's asked? Well, we ask him to do a lot of different things and, and um, you know, rush, uh, the cover aspect of it. Uh, he's becoming more of a leader. He's very vocal. And um, I think he's done a great job 
up to this point and can and, and I've uh, continued to do it the rest of the year. He's a guy that's very talented, plays hard, has a love for the game, and he's the kind of guy you like to surround yourself with. Appreciate you, Coach. Okay. Teron? Yeah, how's it going, Coach? Uh, we talked back in uh, March or April uh, a little bit about how you're getting to know the players and overcoming some of the the gaps, you know, as far as – like the different background gaps, we'll, we'll put it that way. How has that process continued to work out for you as you've gotten on the field and been able to work with these guys? Well, obviously spending time with them in person and not through a Zoom meeting, um, it, you, you get to understand, you know, all the little things, not just the football part of it, but, you know, all the little things about their life, uh, you know, how they react, how they learn, uh, how they function uh, on the field. So, uh, you know, it's been – it's quick because we didn't have a lot of time together, but it's uh, – um, I'm enjoying it, and I think the guys are – uh, they're really into it. Uh, the meetings have been great on the field. They've been doing a nice job on the field. And we just hope we continue that through the career, uh, through the year. And then with Dean Pease having retired, I mean, he was like the OG of the coaching staff. And, you know, you, you settle into that role now. Uh, one of the things that he would always <laughs> – OG, yeah, that's, that's, it's a good thing. You don't have the role. It's, it's good. All right. <laughs> He would always talk to the guys, you know, and, and offer tip sheets with them. Is that something that, that you do with, with your linebackers, just like extensive tip sheets, just giving them things to, to pick up on? Well, you know, I played the game. I played linebacker, and I coached it for a long time. And then being a, you know, coordinator head coach, I, I, I see things a little bit different. So I kind of uh, – I, I teach the way I, that I would want to be coached and how I would want to be, uh, how I would learn. So, you know, I think having a background of being an ex-player, uh, I think that, that that helps in the business because I was out there and I did it. I can give them pointers on how I saw things and all that stuff. So is it safe to say that, that you're heavily involved with the, the game plan, like the being put together? I think everybody's heavily involved. You know, our whole staff is heavily involved in, in the game plan including the head coach. So uh, it's, it will we'll all be as a staff on the same page when the game comes on. Thank you. And, and look up OG in, in the Urban Dictionary. You'll like it. You got it. <laughs> Jim? Yeah, we good? Hey, coach, I got one more for you here. Thanks for holding on. Uh, okay. Will, will Compton, in addition, since the last time we've talked to you, what do you what do you think about him? And did you did you see him first or hear him first? Well, here's here's the deal with Will. I re, I uh, signed Will as a free agent when I was with the Redskins, so I've I had Will for a few years there. Uh, you know, I've kept up with him. You know, understand what he's been doing on and off the field. We got a great relationship. Uh, I think he's a guy that loves football, plays hard, very instinctive. Uh, takes learns things fast, so it's been uh, it's been a, uh, a good second coming with him so far. Did he have a big personality then, or has he kind of grown there uh, since you since you were first with with him? Yeah, he's kind of grown into it, but uh, yeah, he's uh, he's uh, he's a heck of a guy and a heck of a football player. Has he asked you to be on his podcast? Well, yeah, we we've talked about it, but. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's uh, – and I've asked all the guys, uh, all the coaches this, but it, as far as you're obviously a teacher and trying to teach technique and also make sure guys are where they're supposed to be, but how much do you motivate guys during the course of the week to try to get even more out of them? I think you try to do all, all those things. You're, you're a teacher. You're, you're, you want them to uh, – uh, suck everything in they can. You 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 try to their learn their learning process is different. Everybody's different, so one guy does not learn like the other guy, and you got to kind of figure which way they learn. Some people learn through walkthroughs. Some learn in classrooms. Some I can walk down the hall with a few of these guys, and we can talk it over, and they can walk on the field and do it. So everybody learns different. You got to get, and that's the part you missed in the off season, but uh, everything else kind of falls into place 
you know, um, as from my perspective. Do you feel like you were able to get everything you wanted to uh, get everything accomplished that you wanted to during camp, knowing you didn't have many camps and OTAs? Well, you would have liked to have a preseason game here and there, but that's the whole league says the same thing. But, you know, colleges don't do it. They line up and they play, and uh, that's what the NFL is going to do. And, uh, you know, everybody's in the same boat. So we're, we're going to go out there and try to do our best, and we're going to try to minimize mistakes, do a great job tackling, uh, run to the fall of a ball, and hopefully get a lot of turnovers and win a bunch of games. You've been able to see the city since you've been here, or you've pretty much been at work all the time? I've seen the city a few times. Not now. I have been working since I've been in town, but I've been to Nashville a few times. It's a great place. Uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of good things going on in the city. It's, you know, it's one of the gro you know, biggest growing cities in the United States, and uh, it's, it's a great place to be right now.